Hey, I'm Katie, and this is Katie Plays Stuff, where I play stuff for you. And today, we're finally getting to start the next episode of the Life is Strange DLC Before the Storm, episode two. Yes, I do have a hood on right now. It is so freaking cold in my house right now. Brendan refuses to turn the heat on, so we can't do that yet, and I am so cold. I have wool pajama pants on, I have a long sleeve shirt under this, and a sweater, and I don't even care what you say. I'm so excited to finally start this next episode. As you all remember from the last video, there was so much sexual tension between Chloe and Rachel. At least I think so. I'm like totally rooting for Chloe and Rachel, even though if we've all played the actual game, we know what happens later on. Um, but as of right now, in the past, without knowing what happens in the future, I'm totally rooting for Chloe and Rachel. I love them. Let's see what the next episode has in store. Let's go. Previously on Life is Strange Before the Storm. I can't believe Firewalk is playing a show at the old mill. I'm gonna teach this little punk some manners. Hey, dickhead. Get the fuck out of here. Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. We don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. Hello, Black Hell. Chloe, do something! Hey, do you know if Rachel's a gamer? How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Don't be surprised, Chloe, if one day I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Damn, they are really going at it. You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with that woman? That was my dad. Ah! And that woman was definitely not my mom. Who could forget? Miss Price, how good of you to join us. I'm so sorry we're late. My, my shift ran late at the diner and then... Just... sorry. Let us proceed. One of you here is new to the Blackwell disciplinary process. And the other is all too familiar with it. Blackwell's code of conduct is built upon a foundation of mutual respect meant to foster an environment conducive to education and enrichment. When that respect okay. is violated... reality check time. Yesterday did actually happen. I ditched school with Rachel Amber, and then Rachel really did start that fire. And that was after we actually agreed to run away from here. Right? Are you paying attention to me, Chloe? Um, what? Miss Price, the last time we met, an agreement was brokered. Do you recall what that was? Don't screw up. Is that rhetorical? Are you asking, or is that rhetorical? Disrespectfulness. We agreed that you would rededicate yourself to becoming an exemplary Blackwell citizen. We did? In the event that you were unable or unwilling to do so, we also agreed that it would become pertinent to reassess your future status at the Academy. Despite all this, you engaged in the following actions yesterday. Insubordinate language. Attempting to sabotage the academic goals of one of our top students. What? Victoria Chase. <laughs> I forgot I did that. She cheated. <laughs> academic goals like doing her own homework? Because I thought Blackwell had a zero tolerance policy on plagiarism. Excellent suggestion. 
stricter punishment for students who violate Blackwell's code of conduct is next on our agenda. For her plagiarism, Miss Chase might have been suspended. Chloe, you tried to get someone suspended? Might have. If Mr. Prescott, Nathan Prescott, hadn't spoken to me on Victoria's behalf. And we have witnesses saying Miss Price was also involved in a bullying incident of the same Mr. Prescott. <sighs> the hell I was. I stood up for that little weirdo. I suppose that's one interpretation of events. Maybe you should be talking to Drew instead of me. You know, the guy who actually did what you're accusing me of? Mr. North's situation requires sensitivity. It will be handled separately. Why? Mom, you know this is all bullshit, right? Chloe, now is not the time. <laughs> and yet, even with your prodigious disciplinary record, Miss Price, we needn't discuss any of it. We needn't? No, because you severed your relationship with Blackwell the minute you left school grounds without permission. What does that mean? It means... You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. I have no choice but... I made her but... do it. What? 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 Yesterday was all me. It really my was. Idea. I was having a bad day. I needed to blow off some steam, and I took it too far. Chloe tried to talk me out of it. I've been down that road, she told me. You're better than this. But I wouldn't listen. See, Chloe was afraid I'd get in trouble or hurt, so she came with me. But only to keep me safe. <laughs> I'm just sorry you got caught up in it, Chloe. That you allowed me to drag you down to my level. Can you forgive me? Yeah, sure. We're cool. Thank you. I'll make it up to you. I promise. Chloe, is this true? It's true. Totally, totally not, not true. She really is an amazing actress. Miss Price? Fine, yes. It was her idea. But it's not like she kidnapped me. We were in it together. Miss Amber, based on what you've just told me, I have grounds to punish you. Are you sure what you've told me is the truth? Yes. This can't be the full story, Rachel. Ray! Just to be clear, Miss Amber, you're sure Chloe Price didn't coerce you or... Trick her? Yes, I'm sh Oh, thank God. Mrs. Price, this revelation may color the situation some, but it in no way absolves your daughter. I understand, Mr. Wells. There is no doubt that Chloe's behavior must improve. But given what we've just learned about the negative influence she was under, I hope you will allow her just one more chance. Miss Amber. I am as surprised as I am disappointed in you. I understand. This being your first infraction in no way reduces its severity. Still, we will not be suspending you at this time. But you have squandered our trust. You will no longer be my administrative assistant first period. And you will no longer be involved in Blackwell's performance of The Tempest. Oh. No. But the performance is tonight. For someone so aware of our school calendar, Miss Price, I would expect fewer absences on your record. Ray, she loves that show. Since this is her first infraction, Mr. Don't you Amber, think, uh... I don't tell you how to run the district attorney's office. Please don't tell me how to run my school. There's a reason we have understudies for all circumstances, accidental and deliberate. I'm sure you're understudy. Victoria Chase. Ugh. How fitting. Yes, I'm sure Victoria Chase will do fine. 
That is what such... What was that, Miss Price? Chloe is upset for her friend, but we are both grateful that she is not going to be unduly blamed for what happened. There is plenty of blame to go around. Chloe's future at Blackwell will be discussed next, unless you had something to add first, Miss Price. Go along with Rachel, take the blame. Yeah, I gotta take that blame. I gotta do it. Um, but let me just say, I hope it doesn't like make the choice for me. Um, let me just say, I completely forgot about like Rachel's dad. He's standing right there and he just like was making out with somebody else that wasn't the mom. Like that's fucked up. Anyway, I'm taking the blame. No way is Rachel missing the play for me. But thanks to her acting skills, I'll have to go down in flames if I want to fix this. To succeed in backtalk, listen to your opponent. Yeah, 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 I got this. I got this. Get your head out of your ass, Wells. Oh. <laughs> you seriously think yesterday was a little Miss Sunshine's idea? Miss Amber has accepted her responsibility. If it quacks, accept reality. You are unacceptable. Don't you have the slightest idea how this works? You don't wake up one morning and decide to be an outlaw. You need priors. You need training. Rachel confessed. Are you calling her a liar? Yeah. You should confess. I confess she can act. <laughs> she just wants attention. I confess to thinking she can act like a motherfucker. You just bought her crap. Hook, line, and sink. You don't have to do this. It's okay. Really. We're not friends. You do you. You don't tell me what to do. Don't tell me what to do. I'm not one of your sycophants. I'm a lone wolf, and you're a little Red Riding Hood. Welcome to Grandmother's house, bitch. Ooh. Chloe, this can't be you. Apologize this instant. I regret bullying Nathan. Sorry for making you look bad. Shouldn't have dragged Rachel into it. Fine. I shouldn't have pulled Rachel out of class. If I'd known she couldn't handle it, I would have gone it alone. Why speak up, Miss Price? Your words do not exonerate Rachel, but they do further implicate you. Why not tell the truth? Why not leave with a bang? I'm the worst. I don't know. Why? To tell the truth, for once. Something that happens so rarely around here. Everybody lies. I've heard enough. Rachel. You were clearly trying to cover for your classmate. I appreciate the motive, but I appreciate honesty more. Is that understood? Yes, sir. You will not be removed from the play. Was that so hard? Thank you. And Miss Price, I came into today's meeting planning to suspend you for the rest of the school year with a chance for reinstatement in the fall. And now? You are expelled. Damn. What? No. I will have Skip Matthews escort you to clean out your locker. You may wait outside my office until he arrives. What? That is all. Good day, Mrs. Price. Mr. and Mrs. Amber. Right. Come on, Chloe. Well, I mean, we all knew that she got expelled, obviously, but that sucks. I'm sorry. Nothing to be sorry about. Meet me at the junkyard later? You bet. I didn't get the chance to introduce myself. I'm Joyce. Mrs. Price? I'm Rose. This is James. I'm sorry we had to meet like this. James. No, I'm sorry. I'm sure for you this is an unusual circumstance. We really should be going. Nice to meet you. Mom, I... I'll see you in the parking lot. Hey, Chloe. I'm supposed to walk you out. Just you and me, eh, Skip? Fuck them. 
bunch of fascists. I love Skip. Hey, uh, just wanted to say it sucks what is happening to you. Thanks, Skip. You're gonna be missed. I don't really care about any of this shit. Except my secret stash. Might as well grab my emergency joint while I'm here. Mm, Alright, now that I'm actually moving, let's look at some of this stuff. Okay, so I can choose what I want to take and different things. Interesting. Look. Dad got Bongo from the rescue shelter. Then he got run over by a car. Moral of the story, no one's ever really rescued. Well, that's sad. All right, let's see, homework. Love how every time someone tells me how much potential I have, it's right before saying how I'm wasting it all. Chloe, I need to start seeing more effort from you or you're going to fail my class. The quality of your work lately simply doesn't speak to the amount of potential I see in you. I know you're better than this. Oh, I hate chemistry anyway. It was like the worst thing ever. Let's see, pencil case? Trusty keeper of my graffiti pens. You've served me well. Wonder who will grace this space after me. <laughs> Chemistry book. Maybe chem was the class I hated the least. I know you like science, Chloe. Geometry, throw that mm, in the trash. If Chloe leaves Blackwell at 11 a.m., going 100 miles per hour, how long will it take her to get as far away as fucking possible? I had big plans for adding to this collage. Oh well. I should write a poem to mark the occasion. Something with <laughs> imagery. All right. Also, can I just say, she's wearing the same outfit that I picked for her last episode, and I really doubt that the fire started and then they went back to the school and then their parents met them back at the school. Like, why are they still wearing the same outfits? It's not the same day, is it? That doesn't make sense. Anyway. Absolutely, positively the best concert of 2008. Too bad it's time to go. Oh, so Having free. Justin as my locker neighbor was one of the few not shitty things about this place. See, retrieve compartment. Jackpot. Wait, what the hell? Damn it, Justin. Chloe, hey yo, I had to borrow your stash. Desperate times, you know. I promise I'll get you back next week. <laughs> that sucks. Fuck every inch of this place. I wish I could tag it from floor to ceiling. But with Skip watching me. Uh, bathroom. Then I'm out. Cool? <sighs> okay. But try to make it fast, will you? Girls gotta do what a girl's gotta do. Ooh, this music! The reason I can't make money! 
Let's try to enjoy it. Barbarian. <laughs> You're pathetic. You're trying too hard. That's cool. Fuck you. <sighs> I love this game. I really do. It just makes me smile. Now I gotta face David. What the heck? <laughs> ah, back to the parking lot. Later, Skip. Later. Looks like David's here. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Can I go up and read? Stop typing. All right. I don't know what I've read and what I haven't read. Okay, let's just start from the top. Uh, made it into my house without seeing either of my parents. Sweet. You were born to be a spy. Jumping out of trains and shit. Ah, oh, man, we make such a great team. No enemy viewfinder would ever be safe from you again. Haha, <laughs> meanwhile, you're deep un undercover as a passed out person. LOL, today was unforgettable. Some of it sucked. Yeah. You know what doesn't suck? What? You. Oh! So cute! You also don't suck. I know. Oh, they're flirting! Like, this is flirting. Anyway. We should probably sleep. Got Wells tomorrow morning. Yeah, my fault. See, it was tomorrow morning and they're wearing the same fucking outfits. Anyway, worth it. Well, blows. That meeting hella sucked. Okay, so this is after the meeting. You're hella weird. You are. Seriously, it's okay. Yesterday was worth it. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. All right, can I go back? Yes. Mom? Will you be joining us for supper? I feel like I've already read these. Will you be coming home at some point? Okay. Your school called. I think you know why. We have a meeting tomorrow with Principal Wells. I need you to do better. Chloe? Chloe? Chloe Elizabeth Price. You can ignore me all you want, but there will be hell to pay when you get home. Chloe, did you hear there's a fire? Please text me so I don't worry. Chloe, are you okay? Chloe, please, just text your mom, bitch! I'm fine. Oh, thank goodness. Come home by curfew. We have that meeting early tomorrow. Again, Chloe, really? I'm at my wit's end with you. So she didn't come home until past one, definitely. Uh, Elliot. Oh, Elliot. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Holy shit. Did you get Wells text about fire? You okay? Yeah. You? Yeah, I'm just in my room. Hey, after Tempest, you want to hang out? He wants to hang out. Too bad I like girls. 
Uh, urgent fire weather update. Arcadia Bay Forest Watch. Arcadia Bay or whatever, whatever, whatever. May 8th, 2010. Active Class D wildfire. Not contained. Use caution. Check local media for road closures. That sucks. Members of, Bla uh, members of the Blackwell community. Please be advised that a fast-moving wildfire has recently been sighted in the vicinity of Culmination State Park. <laughs> I have spoken with the Arcadia Bay Forest Watch, and we do not believe any- Can I, like- Okay, I can go down. Uh... And we do not believe any evacuations are necessary at this time, as the Blackwell campus is not within the affected area of the fire's current projected path. Please utilize caution while traveling to and from campus. Faculty and staff have been asked to waive punctuality requirements for all sports and extracurricular activities this weekend. Interesting. All right, I think that's done. Let's see, so these are all of our characters, James and Rose. You can't trust normal people, just ask Rachel. Her dad seems like the most normal guy on the planet, but he also turns out to be a cheating dickwad. Come to think of it, maybe that is normal. What sucks is that Rachel and her parents actually seem to get along really well before James is the new district attorney in Arcadia Bay, which is the reason Rachel's family moved up here from Orange County, despite his job. James doesn't like or James doesn't act like an uptight law enforcer all the time, unlike some wannabe father figures I know. Rose, Rachel's mom, also seems pretty decent. She certainly really loves Rachel and James. Poor lady. Whatever happens with Rachel's family, it still seems like she really does love her parents. And maybe that's all that matters. I'd certainly rather have a cheating de dickwad dad than a dead one. Alright, I'm not gonna read everybody, but I just wanted to get that little backstory, because that's important. Uh, more Rachel stuff. Nathan, I don't care about you. Drew. I don't know why Drew's situation is sensitive, um, and they have to handle it separately. That's weird. I don't think Drew's a really bad guy, but I guess I wouldn't know. It's like we exist in two completely different planes of existence that happen to be in the same school. I feel like he might be important to the story later, but I'm not sure. Um, all right. Another letter to Max. Another letter to Max. That I'll never send. At least Journal Max won't abandon me the way real Max did. Um... I don't know. I don't think I read this much. I'm just gonna start on the seventh right here. Max. Ugh, I don't even know. I don't. First off, was your money on Chloe Blows and this goes back to having no friends again? I hope so. How did I fuck it up? One moment I'm having the day of my life, and the next moment I'm awkwardly confessing feelings for her, like some dork asking the head cheerleader to prom, and she blew me off because of course she did. But wait, that's not all, because as soon as Rachel leaves, I find a car. My dead dad's fucking car. Okay, that's what I was wondering. I was talking to Shannon about that. I didn't know if that really was her dad's car, like the actual car from the car crash, or if it was just like a random car that was in a car crash and she like felt, you know, connected to it. But now we know it was her dad's car. This twisted, shattered, ugly reminder of what used to be my life. So I smashed it up, obviously. And then I passed out and had a dream where my dad told me to find Rachel back at the park and Rachel set herself on fire. But enough about me. How was your day? Chloe, the twisted, shattered, and ugly. All right, so now let's read today. When did you decide you were done with me? I mean, how did I, how did you know it was time to move on? I ask because Rachel and I have decided we're done with this shit town. We've had it. It's bye bye bay. But instead of just ghosting it, like someone I know, we're gonna leave, like someone I know, like Max, we're gonna leave a trail of destruction in our wake. For Rachel, that means burning a fucking forest down. I know, crazy. But guess what? I'm pretty crazy too. In not unrelated news, I finally got my ass kicked out of Blackwell. But at least I managed to keep Rachel from getting booted from her play. I should probably be more upset about being a high school dropout, but I'm not. It's just another chapter of fuckery in the story of my life. So yeah, burning bridges, literally, and academically. That's how you make an exit woman. Chloe, the exit wounder. Alright. Now that I'm finished, let's actually play some game. Uh, Alright, let's check out everything. Drugs are free here. <laughs> Man, why didn't anyone tell me before? <laughs> Alright, let's just look all the way around. 
slash lock. Blackwell's criminal element strikes again. Better go before Wells pins it on me. I guess these stage lights are for the Tempest. Do hmm. I really want to do that? What could the Tempest use more of? Pot. Everybody wants to have a good time, right? Stage handwriting. <laughs> okay. Cigarette butts. But whenever I needed to bum one, no one here smokes. Fuck this place. No more extracurricular activities. No more curricular activities either. That's Brendan and Mai's anniversary when we first started dating, May 15th. But not 2010. Ooh, is that Elliot right there? Yeah! Maybe they'll use my scholarship money to finally fix this pothole. I guess this fire is no joke. Still can't believe Rachel started it. That is crazy. I wonder if you can see... Is that smoke or is that dark clouds? Yeah, it must be coming from that direction. It's kind of insane. Elliot, my man. Elliot and I have gone to school together since we were in kindergarten. Until today. Hey, Elliot. What brings Chloe Price to school on a Saturday morning? Nothing good, I bet. I was expelled. Wait, really? Holy shit! I know. I'm surprised it took this long, too. Do you want a hug? <clears throat> I'm gonna say yes, because I think he wants one. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, he's loving it! <laughs> Thanks. Was Rachel Amber involved? Yeah. And let me guess, did she get off scot-free? Well, yeah. But she tried to cover for me. Uh-huh. Anyway, what are you doing here? I thought I should come early to grab tickets. For the Tempest? You said we might see it together. Oh, uh, right. Good call. Did you get my text about hanging out afterwards? Yeah, maybe. Sorry, no. Um, can she even go to the show? Because she's expelled. But I, I still want to go to the show. Yeah. I mean, I'm not really big on making plans. But maybe. Cool, cool. Uh, sounds, sounds good. I better go. Uh, my mom is waiting to sick her attack mustache on me. Her boyfriend. It, don't worry about it. See you around, Elliot. Yeah. Later. You just want a piece of this. He's also dressed up like Shaggy from Scooby-Doo with like the brown pants and the green shirt. I don't know. Anyway. Ah. Uh, Alright, let's see what else I can do. It's kind of funny that this episode starts here because this is where... We finally got back in touch with Max again. Right in this very parking lot. Three guesses whose bike this is. And they all start with Miss Grant. <laughs> Darwin yeah. is my homeboy. I guess I will miss one thing about this place. Wells' car. Crushing spirits must pay pretty well. Can we tag his car? Wells' car. Nope. Crushing spirits must pay pretty well. Hmm. Alright. T. Sawyer. Taking pride in Blackwell Athletics means taking pride in yourself. 
Also, the trustees and their enormous bank accounts. All right, let's see. Is that all? I don't want to go over there. Wait, let me check out this one last car. And then we'll go. Whose car is this? Ear cheese, lung butter. Is this Justin's car? Piss head much? Oh no! That has to be Skip's car. I love Skip. He's awesome. What's he got in there? He got a box with some clothes. He got some soda, some paper. Oh my god, this is literally what my car looks like. Not the car, but like the inside. I have like seven water bottles half full just sitting on the bottom floor of my car. Brennan hates me. That's what they do best here at Blackwell. Empty things out and toss them aside. All right. It's about damn time. David, uh, please. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm not ready for this. Oh, I'm going to get spanked. Chloe, your mother and I have been talking. Yeah? I don't care. Can we please do this later? Can we do this later? I don't think I can handle another fight right now. And who do you expect to handle things for you? Your mother? Maybe. She is my mother. I don't need a conversation. Not with Sergeant Asshat here. I just need some space. Do not use that language with your mother. Or what? She's my mother! If my mother has something to say, she will say it to me. She has. The problem is, you don't listen. Maybe if you try listening to me, Instead of fighting me about everything, you might actually learn a thing or two. What? Like how to have no job? Or how to be a soldier? Soldiers put family and future above self and now. Getting kicked out of school? That's what losers do. You had a scholarship, Chloe. Do you know what that means? What kind of opportunity you gave up? Do you want to work at the diner? Someone needed my help. Who? Your friend Rachel? Because I think the daughter of the DA is going to be just fine. I need your help. Me, your mother. We need to get our own house in order. Right now, what I need most of all is for the two of you to start getting along. Chloe, I don't want to fight. I care about your mother very much. And you too. I'd like for us to start over. What do you say? Chloe would say no, but me as Katie, I'm gonna say sure. Sure. Reset button pressed. I am glad to... From now on, it keeps I will cutting be off assisting words. your mother in a few areas. Like making sure that you are no longer abusing drugs or alcohol. She's shocked. <laughs> Mom. <laughs> Chloe, I'd like you to empty your pockets and place all your belongings on the trunk of the car. What the fuck? If we are going to start over... We have to know that you are not abusing drugs. If you're not, you should be eager for the chance to pr Mom, Stop cutting words off! Serious. David and I have discussed it, and we feel this is the only way for us all to have a fresh start. Let's go, Chloe. Quit stomp. I'm really annoyed. <laughs> okay. Okay. What's in my pocket anyway? I don't know. <gasps> Do I still have weed in my pocket? I bought it yesterday! Uh-oh. Or not yesterday. Was it yesterday? Anyway. I have to comply. I have to do this for my mom. She's just trying to be happy with shitty-ass David, but I have to comply. I don't know what's in my pockets, but I'm kind of curious. Fine. You want to see my shit so badly? I mean, I have little shorts on. What could be in there? Oh, the 
cat picture! Ooh, weed! Oh no, the horror. Happy? Forgot about that weed I bought! It's marijuana, all right. No, Chloe, I am not happy. But I am relieved that you came clean. I hope this can be the beginning of a new chapter for us. A new chapter. One that will involve the three of us together. W what does that mean? We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. Stop cutting words off! No fucking way! Chloe, after everything that's happened, uh, I'm at a loss. I need help. Exactly. We need a firmer hand steering this ship. Talk to me, Chloe. Tell me what you're feeling. I feel like this is a bad idea. I feel like he's gonna take over the garage and put cameras up and watch everybody and be creepy. I know I fucked up. You're trying. I get it. Ugh! Mom, I... I, I know I fucked up. I, I'm a fuck up. I'm sorry. Are you sorry? You don't even know what you're apologizing for. I've been shutting you out even though I've needed you and you need me and I know that. But this is not the answer. It's the only answer I have, Chloe. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. I'm sorry I took that for granted. I'm not choosing anyone over anyone else. It's about the three of us having a home together. It'll be better than you think, Chloe. Once everything's running smoothly, you'll see what a stable home can be like. This sucks. Where'd all my stuff go? It's like one thing sitting there. <sighs> Why is his head so flat? Sorry, I'm getting upset. <laughs> this sucks. Hey! <laughs> there is no home. Not if he's there. Chloe. Let her go. She'll come home as soon as her tantrum is over. <sighs> Dang. Stole money and bought weed for nothing. How do you know which way is up when your whole life has been turned upside down? Black Hole's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Is this junkyard all I've got left? Pretty much. Is that her truck?
Ugh. This thing is a mess. But maybe I can fix it. If right this here and right now. If never run again, the first thing it needs is a new battery. Wonder if I can find one around here. Isn't this in the junkyard for a reason, though? Anyway, obviously we know she gets it running. All right, let's check the phone. Ooh, next we got another one. Max, you ever hated someone's guts, but then later felt bad because you found out they're actually cooler than you thought? Yeah, me neither. David's got inside his douchebag skull that he needs to start cracking down on me, which meant demanding I empty my pockets for him in the Blackwell parking lot. I went along with it, but just so I could wave the bag of herb in his stupid mustache face. I guess it backfired because now David is moving into my old house. I say old house because if he's there, I sure as shit am not. Oh, I also bumped into Elliot. He's super into me still. Everyone wants a piece of the price. <laughs> Chloe, bane of fascists. Fa fascists. Uh, everyone wants a piece of price. Oh yeah. Piece of the Katie. The piece of the price. Alright. Text from mom. Uh, Chloe, David is trying to do what he thinks is best. He's such a tool! I didn't like that he asked you to empty your pockets. But then you had weed, didn't you? Well, I mean, yeah, we saw it. Cause it's awesome. <laughs> I just don't know what to do anymore. It rhymes with cleave flavid. <laughs> Chloe, can't you just forget about David for a second? Think about me. Maybe I just need space, okay? Maybe I need my daughter back. This is so sad and dramatic. Okay. Now, let's try to get a truck working in the junkyard. Magical battery goes here. Soon as I magically find one, I mean, it's probably not even the battery. I mean, yeah, it's probably the, that really gross battery. But I'm sure there's a lot of things wrong with this truck, like the alternator. What's in there? A hole. Yeah, this seems safe. All right, let's look around. No trespassing. There's that old bus. Let's see what else. What's that? Sorry, Max. I think I'm more jealous of you than anything. Hopefully, I'll be escaping this place soon, too. Glass looks way prettier when it's broken. Wonder what else that's true for. Let's see... Beer bottle? Puddles, bottles everywhere, and not one beer to drink. Investigate. This is no good. Nope. I really doubt anything here would be any good. Rug. This rug has some miles on it. Hmm. Don't want to leave yet. I don't? Okay. Can I walk around this way? Is that the old fort? There it is! You gotta love a place where even Christmas looks depressing. Is this where we find our, our little place to hang out? No, this is a vortex club I wouldn't mind joining. Outcast Unite. The Motley Ball. Outcast Unite. Be whoever we- Be whoever you are as we eat, drink, and merrily say fuck off to the- to Reagan and his oppressive regime. Re reg regime. I can't fucking read. Communism. Atheism. Free love. Blackwell Academy, class of 81. Oh, wow. That's old. 
You're a long way from the country club, guy. Alright, let's check this out. This is exciting. Maybe we can get in. I know one fire that doesn't need any poking. Or not, just kidding. We can't get in. And up next, a local band called Pisshead is blowing mines <laughs> and speakers throughout the bay. Here's their new single, Nothing Wrong. Pisshead! Ooh! A pirate flag? Wonder if there's treasure buried nearby. <laughs> All right, what else, what else? Can I open the hood of you? That's the trunk. Oh yeah. All right, I'm turning this off. <laughs> Just because I don't need that in the background. All right, let's see. Jackpot. Just kidding. Boat. Hmm. Not strong enough. Damn, you cigarettes. All right. <laughs> this should work. Really fuck some shit up. What do I want to tell my fellow sailors of the seven trash heaps? Got it. Radical, piratical, piratical. Rest in peace, Captain Bluebeard. <laughs> She's finally the pirate she always wanted to be. Pirate of the fucking junkyard. <laughs> Rachel set that fire. I don't think she meant to, but I also don't think she didn't mean to. Crazy that something so destructive can also be so beautiful. Or a fire that began in a trash can could grow to light up the entire sky. Let's just try and find a battery, if possible. Dad's car. No, not going over there. I'm already here. Where did you put that, though? Like, you have no pockets in the little teeny tiny shorts. Alright, 
I need, I need a battery. Guess I was pretty pissed at Rachel last night. Amazing that someone I just met could have made me this angry. Max and I used to go there all the time as kids. I think it shut down, but who knows? I guess I'll never ride one of these again. That's so awesome. <laughs> You're a long way from the beach. Another sign. Come on, give me a battery. Give me something. I always wanted a pet snake. Instead, I got David. Fuck everything. This looks pretty good. What are you trying to hide under there, Hood? Excuse me. Yeah, baby! Give me some of that! Here we go, the pick of the litter. Cool, but if I don't have a key, how do I start the car? Wow. <laughs> Shitty ride, drug dealer. Really thought crime paid better. Drug dealer. Welcome, Matt. All right, let's head back. All right, battery. This thing needs more love than I can give right now. In the meantime, maybe I can spruce it up a bit. Who tested me? You can hang here, but I get to pick the tunes. Okay? Good talk. Texted Rachel. Uh, let's see. Yesterday was worth it. I don't suck. Chloe Price. Wait a second. Okay, yesterday was worth it. Chloe Price. I don't suck. You really don't. You really, really don't. My mom thinks I do. Don't know if I can stand going home tonight. Still there? Grabbing something from home that I'll meet you at the junkyard. See you really soon. You better. All right. Let's see, broken bulb. Maybe there's another light bulb I can put in here. Okay. Oh, I probably gotta grab one of those mats. While an escape hatch could be nice, I should probably cover over this massive hole. Probably a good idea to cover over this with something. All right. 
God. This is pip my ride right now. Okay. Let's see what else this trash heap has to offer. Okay. So, where did I find everything? That I need something for the floor. I did have something for the floor. Actually, I feel like I saw that light bulb too. Oh, wait. He's got a light bulb. Light the way, robo bulb. Hell yeah. All right, need me a mat for the floor. Which smut mat? Wait, mag. These <laughs> magazines are Ooh. so gross. Who would look at this? <laughs> okay, I'm still looking, but it's only because I'm so fixated by how weird it is. Okay, fun with candy. Sounds fun. This might make the perfect cover for that torn seat. All right, now I just gotta grab me a mat, and I think that's it. All right, let's run. Syringe. Here's a side of Arcadia Bay they don't put on the postcards. All right. It's not a mat. Place mat. Nope, that's a place mat. That's not a mat mat. Come on, give me a mat. A real mat. Welcome, mat. You should cover that life-endangering floor hole quite nicely. Alright, we good? We good? What am I forgetting? Cover the seat, cover the mat, or the hole. The light bulb. I think we're good. Alright, baby! Pip my ride, Katie style! Oh, I can't sit here for so long. All right, fix the floor. Nice, looks good. And a uh, light bulb. But if the car doesn't start, why would the light turn on? That doesn't make sense! This thing looks like a rusted out shopping cart. Probably drives like one too. That's if it ever does drive, which seems questionable. Still, how sweet would that be? Do you even have a license? Yeah? Frank, it's Frank. Oh. Hey, Frank. What's up? Yeah, just checking in to see how you're doing. What? Really? No. Listen, <laughs> we've got business to discuss. Where can we meet? What about... Oh, like... drugs? Christ. I'm hanging out in the junkyard, north of town. The junkyard? That's great. Stay there, I'll see you soon. Okay. And Frank, I'm not in trouble or anything, right? I don't know. Did you do anything you should be in trouble for? <laughs> like, in general, or to you? I'll see you soon. What is that about? That's weird. I feel weird about that conversation. I don't like that. This must be where Frank finally meets Rachel. Time for a hard-earned smoke break. All right. Graffiti it. You only get one chance to make a first expression. Frightening, mystical. The eye sees all. Okay, Illuminati. Let's see. Turn on. Looking good, Robo Bulb. 
guess it does work. What do we have here? Yep. This will do. What is it? What even was it? <laughs> Does Principal Wells eat pizza with a fork and knife? I knew there was something off about that guy. Yeah, just fall asleep with a cigarette in your hand. That's not dangerous or anything. Oh, where are we now? Whoa. Shit. I slept all day. What the hell? What the heck? Is that my dad? Dad? Okay. Roast some marshmallows. You know one thing about Brendan that I just don't like is that he doesn't like roasted marshmallows. What? Do I even <laughs> like marshmallows? I don't know, do you? Do you? Roast. We'll talk to Dad after. We gotta get this mellow roasted. Amazing, isn't it? I can't look away. 
sure. Don't pretend you're not mesmerized too. See? You're so drawn to it, you don't even realize the danger. Danger? Fire blinds us. Just like darkness. But darkness blinds with absence. With loss. What does fire blind with? Beauty. This is really weird. But sometimes, there's a greater beauty yet to come. Incredible. Fire is jealous, Chloe. It wants all the beauty for itself. That's why you need to be careful. Careful of what? <laughs> of getting burned. Ah. Uh... I'm thinking the dad is saying, like, beware of Rachel, you know, because Rachel burned herself alive in, like, her one dream. What's going on? Okay. Rachel burned herself alive in her other dream. And now her dad is saying, like, fire is jealous, like, beware of fire. And Rachel started the fire. So she's like, beware of what you're getting yourself into, bitch. Like, shit's going to go down with Rachel, you know? And that beauty is going to come soon. And Max is, uh, Max is going to come pretty soon. Anyway, uh, I guess let's keep going. Hasn't anyone ever told you not to fall asleep with a lit cigarette? You could start a fire. So, are you gonna invite me in, or what? I love giving rides to strange drifters. Hop in. <laughs> Thanks. She brought clothes with her, jeez. You've been busy. It's nothing. Just some junk I found lying around. A uh, pirate flag? A cool blue light? Holy shit. The all-seeing eye. <laughs> Figured it can't hurt to have the Illuminati on our side <laughs> for whenever shit goes down. Always thinking ahead. Chloe, this is incredible. I, I can't believe you found us an escape vehicle already. Like, for us to run away? Oh, I, I guess I wasn't thinking about it that way. Are you getting cold feet? I thought you were all bye-bye Arcadia Bay last night. I still am. I guess. You guess? It's not so easy. This truck doesn't even start, and we don't have any money. We can figure all of that out. I have no doubt. Besides, there's no rush. True. And no Blackwell. <sighs> Holy shit. <laughs> that Wells meeting. I'm so sorry. I can't believe he actually expelled you. <laughs> Why not? No reason to prolong the inevitable. It's definitely Blackwell's law. You covering for me was amazing. I don't know how to thank you. <sighs> Whatever. You tried to cover for me too. Tried and failed. I guess we know who the better liar is. Or maybe my lie was the one he wanted to believe. At least Wells has no idea what really went down with us last night. Shit got pretty wild. Rachel, that was more than pretty wild. You went absolutely nuts last night. 
What the hell were you thinking? I was angry. I didn't expect the whole stupid park to go whoosh. But now you're in on it too. Accessory after the fact. Unless you tell on me, of course. I'm no snitch. <laughs> I'd be way happier going to jail than having to live at home with Dick Tater David. He announced his plans to move in this morning. Oh, Chloe, that's awful. I'm so sorry. You know what we both could use? <laughs> Therapy. Therapy. You start. Kick back and tell me what's bothering you. Well, Doc. There's this dildo with a mustache who's been dating my mom, and now he thinks... <sighs> he's moving in with us. How do I stop him? Hmm. That's a hard one. I'm not sure there's really anything you can do. Then what the hell am I talking to you for? Just because you can't stop him doesn't mean you don't fight back. The resistance begins now. All right. You're going to need a new nickname to mark your enemy. What have you got? Step douche. He's, uh, step douche. Because he's inserting himself where he <laughs> doesn't belong. Also, he's a douche. Poetic. May I also suggest step ladder? Why step ladder? Because he climbs on your mom every day. Oh. And pretty soon, they'll be stepping down the aisle. What the hell kind of therapist are you? Sorry. It's called shock therapy. Highly controversial. That was actually somewhat therapeutic. Thank you. It's always a pleasure delving into the mind of Chloe Price. And now it's your turn. Tell me all about what it's like being daughter of Arcadia Bay's most famous scumbag. It sucks. Too blunt? Sorry. I do that sometimes. Nah, I'm just... Ugh, I don't know. Can we talk about something else? Of course. Hey, chances are pretty soon this entire town will be burnt to a smoldering pile of ashes, so, you know, things are really looking up for us. From what I've tasted of desire, I hold with those who favor fire. Do you think there's a point when you've been acting so much that you don't even have your own personality anymore? You're just whatever you think other people want you to be. I think you have a personality. I wasn't talking about me. My dad doesn't really exist. You saw him in Wells' office. The whole thing is a performance. And now I'm starting to feel like Everything in my life is bullshit. But he's still my dad. How can I make sure I don't end up like him? You're not like him. I won't let you. You just need someone around who likes you for who you are and isn't afraid to call bullshit when needed. Let me know if you find any candidates for the job. Shit, it's time for the play. As if my life didn't have enough drama in it. Good luck. You know you're never supposed to tell an actor good luck before a show? It's bad luck. How is telling someone good luck, bad luck? You're supposed to say, break a leg. That's dumb. Hey, I, I was thinking that after the show, maybe we could go do something. Just you and me. Something criminal? 
criminally fun. <laughs> I'm in. Like what? Wait, you forgot your bag. It's for you. Just a little survival kit for your new life on the lamb. Drive safe, Chloe. What's in there? Oh, now we finally made it. <laughs> Hello, Junk Shack. Time to check out Rachel Amber's mystery bag. All right, just went and took a quick little break, stretched my legs because I've been sitting here for an hour and a half. Whew. All right, let's keep moving. Text message from Mikey. Uh, I heard you got expelled, sorry. Yeah, I rolled it. I rolled a one against Wells. All right, get it? Oh, I rolled a one, like in the game. Steph says you're a nerd. <laughs> All right, let's open up this mystery bag, but let's also check out our brand new place. We got the tires. We got the wall. We got the tapestry. You know, we are living the high life over here. Wait, so if that's not this on, place then... is the shit. It's like my junk fortress okay. of solitude. All right, hang the tapestry. Beautiful, I suppose. <laughs> it's time to talk about the elephant in the room. This elephant fucking rules. All right, hang. How did you hang that up? Was there just a nail randomly coming out of the fucking concrete? Okay. Whatevs. No, I just need a photo of David. Alright, we got the wall. Beautiful. All right, let's check out this mystery bag. A bag full of clothes. Yes, I need those. Yes, I do. Try on. Oh, finally, we can change our damn outfit. <laughs> Nothing like an abandoned shack in the middle of a junkyard to make a girl feel like exploring a new wardrobe. All right, baby! Bonus outfits! What do you mean, pre-order? Thought I had the deluxe edition. Oh, okay, yeah, I do. Illuminati, Hot Dog Man, Punk Doe. Oh, these are the ones I've already tried on. I kind of like this one. I really think the pants are cute, and the shoes are cute with the pants. I'm actually liking it. No, let's keep it. I like how you can see the bra on the side. This is like something I would wear in real life if um, they didn't have like the weird straps on the side. And the shirt wasn't like dirty looking. But anyway. Uh, let's see... Duffel bag... Oh, that was my phone. Frank. Let's see, I'm in the junkyard now. 
All right, let's go meet him. Why would he be here? Huh? That's the woman we saw with Rachel's dad. What? Weird. Yo, Frank. It's Chloe. I don't know the secret password, man. Is the password drugs? Price, get your ass in here. Okay, this is weird. <laughs> Dude, it smells like piss in here. Shut up. You have a rough night or something? Every night's a rough night. I've got a notebook in the back somewhere. Go get it for me, would you? What? Who is that? Well, ah! God, jeez, man. Get my notebook, Price. Then we'll talk. What is going now I'm on? Changing things for Frank. How low can I go? Where did that girl go? It's always hard to tell what Frank's thinking. This is so weird. A betting slip. Twelve hundred dollars. Way out of my league. Yeah. So Frank's a fellow survivor of Black Hell. Who knew? That is kind of strange. I wasn't expecting that. Okay. Sorry, Frank. I didn't know it was your RV when I wrote that. Ah! How dare you offer candy to children without parental permission? I have reported your license plate to Arcadia Bay Police Department. <laughs> Oops. Fight the power. Oh, that's funny. Cabinet. Cabinet. Beans! I was eating those beans! That's an insane amount of beans. <laughs> I love it so much! Beans! Ugh, gross. Oh my gosh, that is so funny. I am so happy that they added that because that's literally one of my favorite parts of the entire game of the first game was when you spill his beans on the ground. I don't know why. Wait, Frank got a puppy. Doggy help. Hi there, my dog is three months old and he's still peeing everywhere. What do I do? Frank B. Puppies have accidents when they're scared. You have to stop scolding your puppy. Thanks, but I don't scold him. Then why is he having accidents? Raising a puppy requires patience. If you cannot control yourself, please look deeply and honestly at whether you're able, re really able to have a dog. What's your fucking problem, lady? I said I don't scold him. Wow, there's no need to swear. I think it's pretty clear now that you do scold her and worse. <laughs> oh, people on the internet are dumb. Ah, oh, man. Rachel the therapist would have a field day with this. History. Dream about clouds meaning. What age will dog eat steak? Pisshead music. Mila Kunis single. <laughs> Cloud formation screensaver. He loves clouds. Property insurance fire illegal. Arcadia Bay Forest Watch. Megan Fox single. How large was biggest cloud in history? Why won't puppy eat steak? <laughs> oh my god. Why does he like clouds so much? That's really weird. Shit. The mill burned down. Ball crusher. More fucking shit. Frank, I went back to the mill. Shouldn't have. I'm fucking furious. Everything's burned. Total massacre. Can't stop thinking about it. Dogs didn't make it. That's so sad. That's 10k gone. Just like that. Plus the stud fees we had coming. RF and that whole crew are gonna be pissed. How am I going to come back with this- that I can't read. How am I supposed to come back from this with my- this- <coughs> How am I supposed to come back from this with my fucking reputation intact? I can't think straight on this shit right now. I just need to find out who started the fire and burn his fucking face. D. That sucks. Alright. Next. Jeez. 
That's an expensive dog. Frank, you like the dog? I thought you would. That dog is special, man. Callie's buyer wanted him, and I said, fuck off, keep your 3K. I'm saving him for my buddy Frank. I mean it. Everything you've done for me adds up to way more than 3K. Don't ask me. Don't thank me. This is from me to you. Just let me breed him later. Damon. All right. So where's the doggy? Wait, what was that? Look, I already read that. Hat, graffiti, beer, TP, milk. Got it. A real house! That's horrible. <laughs> Rude. Uh, bomb sauce. For the man who enjoys searing pain with his drive through order. With his beans. Frank must be spending hundreds of dollars on this dog. Why is he only feeding steak to his dog? Don't mind if I do. Don't even fucking think about it. Damn. Part of a balanced breakfast. Alright. We got doggy in here? Like keeps my little beeps. All right, let's uh, all right, check the phone, Elliot. Let's see, Tempest is going to be awesome, like, really bad. I mean, it's gonna be hilarious. Hey, don't worry about being expelled, okay, dude. I'm fine, <laughs> Justin. Uh... Dude, I heard you got expelled. Bad news. I mean, you mean good news? I'm stoked. Word. If you want to blaze with me and Trev, let me know. Thanks. Alright. Alright, let's see what we got in here. Let's see... A swingy, flippy instrument of death. Alright. Wow. That pillow is... definitely dead. Because Frank finally gave up on the steak. <laughs> A throne fit for... Frank. Frank and his BFF. That's adorable. Oh, this must be it. Is... This what I think it is? Glad I paid that off. Yeah. Time to find out what Frank wants to discuss. Alright, nothing else in here. Okay, let's go. Is this it? Have a seat. Pompadou, huh? That's one badass name for a dog. It's French. He's not a poodle. French for what? Does it mean, like, tough guy or something? Do I look like I speak fucking French? <laughs> okay, so who was that woman? What woman? The one I saw coming out of your RV. Oh yeah, I meant to introduce you. Her name is Mind Your Own Fucking Business. <laughs> Rachel would want to know more. I bet I can convince Frank it's harmless to tell me. Dude, I'm just curious. What's the big deal? Idiot. I make money by being discreet. You made, no pro made me no problem. I can't read. I won't sell you out. Give me some credit. 
I don't know. No shit, Frank. You think I don't know about hiding things from other people? I'm a teenager. Come on, Price. I gotta protect my clients. Happy customers are the foundation of a good business. Hey, so... Uh, I had this dream the other night about a cloud that swallowed Arcadia Bay. You too? See? We're a lot alike, Frank. We've got shit in common. Sure, I guess. So why are you so hung up on this chick? Just hanging out. Hang myself out of boredom. So sensitive. Come on, Frank. This is Arcadia Bay. Gossip is all we have to keep us from hanging ourselves out of boredom. I don't know. Frank. Talk. And I'll get my mom to make you something special. Like what? Uh... How about that firehouse chili of hers? You... You got... The woman you saw. Her name's Sarah. Showed up a few weeks ago. Causing all kinds of trouble for all sorts of people. Like who? It's a little out of your league, okay? But what kind of trouble, exactly? Forget about it, Chloe. Shouldn't have opened my mouth. Thanks... for... telling me. Whatever. Where are we even going? No burn down? Yeah. I, uh... heard some stuff about it. Crazy. My friend Damon runs the place. He lost a lot of money last night. Money from what? Well, he's always had a few things going on. I help him out with some of them. Don't drown me in the details, Frank. Lately, he's been doing some stuff that I don't like. But I don't seem to have much leverage with him like I once had. Anyway, you and I have shit to discuss. I've got a little job for you. Open my notebook. Last page. Should be some entries for a kid named Drew. You know him? Drew? Uh, Drew North? Yeah, he's... Oh, holy shit. That's a lot of money. I knew Drew would be in the story. Apparently football players eat it like candy. That's smart, I guess. It pays well? Go Bigfoots. Problem is, Drew owes a grant, and he's not answering my calls. You know what's going on with them? Now we never talk. He's a douchebag. Uh, he's an unreliable douchebag. No, this is the first time he's done this. Kid's actually smart. Anyway, here's the job. I'm taking you to Blackwell. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Oh, God. Can you handle that? I don't know. <sighs> yeah, of course. But what's in it for me? I'll give you a 10% cut of the money. Okay. Yeah, sure. I'll do it. What's the matter? It might be a little tough. I, I'm not supposed to be at Blackwell. I got expelled this morning. Congratulations. Still easier for you to go on campus than for me. If you can't even do this price... A hundred dollars closer to leaving Arcadia Bay. With a bit of cash and the truck fixed, Rachel and I could really do it. We could leave for good. A hundred dollars is not gonna get you I'll shit. Do it. Good deal. God. Stay at a hotel is at least 65 and up. I mean, even if it's a crappy hotel. I don't even know why I'm so stressed out about this. It's not real life. <laughs> oh, look, it's the back! Didn't think I'd be back this soon. All right, let's do this. Well? Here goes nothing. Oh boy. My 
Rachel. Uh, back at school yet again. They've got some tents up for dressing rooms. What are you up to? I'm here too, actually, running an errand for my dealer. Oh, really? So bad. Come see me when you're done. Yeah, for sure. P.S. I saw that woman that your dad was was with coming out of the, my dealer's RV. What? Apparently she's causing trouble for a lot of people or something. Her name's Sarah. Rachel? I think I might prefer not knowing her name. Oh, my bad. No, it's fine. See you soon. Mm. Better hurry up and the dogs. What would I buy if I had enough money to build a whole dorm? Probably not a dorm. <laughs> I should come hang around here during finals. Make everybody jealous. Alright. Wet concrete? Why? Can I stick something in it? Oh, nope, I can just walk in it. <gasps> oh, never mind. Abandon all hope. Tempest tossed. Welcome to hell. <laughs> Alright. Ooh, tap? Journal? Does it tell me when I add a new thing? Ever been to therapy? It's actually kind of awesome, and I don't mean writing down your feelings and hugging and crying and shit. I'm talking about popping open the hood and getting your hands dirty. Rachel's awesome at it. Because, of course, she is. We talked about David moving in and how shitty that is. Rachel didn't want to talk as much, but I got her to open up. I'm glad I did it. By the end, everything, I don't know, seemed a little less broken, I guess. Speaking of how I found this gnarly truck that I started fixing up, who knows, this, who knows if I'll ever get it running? But for now, I'm glad just to have a problem I might actually be able to solve. And maybe an escape vehicle? Stay tuned. Fixing trucks and fixing brains. Who needs school anyway? Chloe, the less broken fixer. Uh, how do you know when it's time to take a relationship to the next level? I'm talking about my drug dealer, Frank, of course. He wants me to do a job for him. Picking up money from Drew North. You know, Drew, Blackwell's premier jockstrap, and now apparently Oxy dealer. Dude's in some pretty deep, or dude's in pretty deep, it seems. But it should be an easy job. And besides, I could use the money for mine and Rachel's escape fund. Which, speaking of Rachel, guess whose skis ball dad's side piece I saw coming out of Frank's RV? I pressed Frank for info and learned that her name is Sarah, and she's only been around for a couple weeks. Oh, and she loves the dro drugs. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> Alright, off to make my triumphant return to Blackwell. At least I'm getting paid to go there this time. Chloe, the criminally awesome. Alright. Let's do this. Well, let's do this soon. I still gotta talk to people. Totem poster. Max would have jumped on that photographer position. Come write for Blackwell's oldest and only student newspaper. Staff photographers. Evan! What are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be at home, thinking over your endless list of questionable decisions? Dude, why do you care about my questionable decision? It offends me when intelligence is wasted. <laughs> Did Evan just call me intelligent? Damn straight. Wow. Evan looks... ridiculous. Chloe? Uh-huh. I've learned something about myself recently. Something that I think you might understand. I've learned that if I'm passionate about something, it's probably the right thing to care about. Forest fires, for example. You were the only person who signed my petition. I mean, seriously signed it. That's... pretty sad. I'm a low bar, but did you really expect people to care? 
People are so eager to pass on responsibility to anyone else so that they can live comfortable, unworried, and ultimately meaningless lives. You see what happened? Hmm. <laughs> Looks like you were right. <laughs> Go, Evan. You're a hero of the people. I know you feel like I do. A about different things, I'm sure. But you only give a shit about what you give a shit about. I like that. A anyway, you're not supposed to be here. You should leave. Oh, okay. Thanks for the good conversation. Thank you. Blackwell Academy. Conserving water <sighs> since... Never. Evan's subject for the day. Better you than me, bird. Ooh, his door's open. <gasps> Samuel! Squirrel statue. Nice work, Samuel. Such a nice white door. Though, it feels like it's missing something. Doesn't right. it? Too we bad get I him can't out tag it with Samuel standing right there. Huh. That's some intellectual shit, Samuel. Chaos theory. Hmm. Hey, Samuel. Hey, Samuel. Keeping busy? Always, Chloe Price. <laughs> I didn't think you'd be returning to these hallowed halls so soon. <laughs> Neither did I. I have the feeling it wasn't uh, the books or bricks of Blackwell that led you back. <laughs> What? You're here for someone. A special someone, yes? He's so creepily smart. I feel like he's psychic in some way. Like, he gave us the powers in the first place. <laughs> what if he was the Illuminati? Rachel, Drew, Elliot, I've got to go. Elliot. So, uh, <laughs> what about Elliot Hampton? Have you seen him recently? I only see what... Elliot wants me to see. What do you mean? Okay... Usually I can see both what people want me to see and what they want to keep hidden. And, uh... What, what do I want to keep hidden? That you are lonely and afraid. That's interesting. It's okay not to be okay, Chloe Price. I'm, uh, <laughs> looking for Drew North. Most look at Drew North and see only the athlete, but he is more than that. He is? A great heart he has, with much love and no room for fear. Why do you speak I always thought in he was kind of a words, bully. not he may sentences? Be that too. No one is just one thing. No one is just. What do you think of uh, Rachel Amber? Rachel Amber is a dragon made of diamonds. The fuck? That's uh deep. <laughs> Do you just make this shit up on the fly, or do you, like, write it down beforehand? Are you angry all the time because you like the way it feels? Or is it merely a desperate defense against experiencing true intimacy with others? I've gotta go, man. Uh, <laughs> it's been real. I often wonder what real is. Farewell, Chloe Price. He's a freaky ass dude, I'm telling you. Freaky freaky. Okay, how am I gonna get him out here? Hmm. My stomach is growling, gotta order me some Chinese. There's the entrance. Poster. Steph. Bench. Just... Ugh. 
Uh, maybe I can turn the sprinkler on? Hey, pup. He wants to be with mommy. All right, you gotta be quiet, okay? You gotta lay down. You gotta be quiet. All right, lay down. All right, let's see. Hey, Steph. Whoa. Hey, Barb. The elf barbarian. Surprised to see me on parole? I told you Wells was out to get you. That text was a rare courtesy, by the way. I don't normally get involved in other people's dumb decisions. Thanks for trying, but skipping yesterday was totally worth it. Skipping with Rachel Amber does have an appeal. Well... So, what are you doing here? Uh, I figured I'd see the Tempest. For real? You? Yeah, I know. It's not really my thing. Uh, <laughs> kinda hoping it's a shit show. What the hell? I'm the stage manager. Oh, I think I knew that. My bad. You better mean it. Honestly, the show's really good. It's worth seeing. I'm sure it is. Obviously, Rachel's fantastic, but everyone else is pretty impressive, too. You get to see a totally different side of everyone, especially the guys. Okay. I'm intrigued. Go on. Like, Hayden's so annoying, but when he puts on that crown, he's actually very princely. And Nathan is Caliban? <laughs> There's so much depth there. Right. Depth. Yeah, well, good luck with all of that. <laughs> Maybe I'll see you oh, later. Oh, hey. I wanted to ask you something. Shoot. I've been planning to make a move on Rachel, but not if you two were together. Make a move? So, are you? Uh, I mean, that's Rachel's business. Or maybe yours and Rachel's business. But if you feel comfortable telling me... You think we're together? I'm not sure if she's single. <laughs> I don't know if we're together, Keeps. Are we together? Are we? Tell me. What's that? I'm... Uh, I, I don't know. It's... It's... Confusing. <laughs> yeah, I, I can imagine. You ever want to talk to me, Chloe? You know you can, right? I'll see you later, Steph. Have fun storming the castle. You shouldn't be on campus, Chloe. The fuck? Who said that? <laughs> so weird. Eddie, who? Look through? Why, yes. Chloe, of course you may look through that. Steph's really good at creating fantasy worlds. I can see why Mikey prefers them to his reality. How do I get him outside? Locked. Figures. Oh, he's got to open it for me. Looks like my options are become a master lock picker or swipe someone's keys. Okay, maybe that's how he'll go and do it. How do I get these? Bingo. Gotta get the keys. If only those keys were unsupervised. What's Samuel working on? Uh, the sprinklers? Alright, sprinkler it is. If Samuel's working on the sprinklers, some damage here might get his attention. But Evan is right there. Alright, scare the bird. <laughs> Literally, it says scare. <laughs> hey! Shit. I wanted you to go the other way. 
like as far as possible the other way. Uh, scare again. Time for a fresh start. Hmm. There we go. Gotcha. Oh, perfect. You're welcome. That was a really, really weird situation. Anyway. Sprinkler! Smash it! Awesome. Now I just have to wait for Samuel to turn on the... <laughs> that works. All right, let's get those damn keys. And graffiti on the door. Squirrel peace offering. Squirrel gives no fucks. Cute. All right, keys. Sorry, Samuel. I can hit the sprinkler. All right. Time to find Drew's room. Who would have thought sprinklers would be the key to getting inside the dorms? Yeah, who would have thought paint and other stuff we had to do in the last time would get us inside the doors? Unlocked. No time like the present. He says poo on the wall. Uh oh. Chloe? <laughs> hey, Skip. How's it going? Not that it isn't great to see you and all, but what are you doing here? Didn't you just get expelled? Visiting a friend. I'm on a secret mission. <laughs> I'm on a secret drug related mission, Skip. Under the authority of the Arcadia Bay District Attorney's Office. Really? No. <laughs> Dude. I, I'm just visiting a friend. I, I can't... I, I really can't just let you go in. Samuel said it was okay. Alright, let's, let's do it. I'm going inside, dude. You're just gonna have to let this slide. I don't think I can. In fact... I think I have to ask you to state your official business, or else vacate Blackwell property. I hate to do this to Skip, but I've got to get inside. Maybe if I make him really uncomfortable, he'll feel guilty and let me pass? I don't want to do that to Skip. What's my official business? Women's business. Dirty business. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Women's business, Skip. As in, my uterus? I need to use the restroom. Glad you asked. What? No. No, it's my job to ask, Chloe. You're gonna lose your job. Not cool, Skip. Your job is creepy. <laughs> your job is creepy, then. Which makes you kind of a creeper. Oh, it's not like that. Do you know what Wells would do to me if I didn't... You know, patrol. So it's pressuring you? So sick of this. You know Wells doesn't really respect you, right? You're just a, a rent-a-cop who needs a haircut. I thought we were friends. Where is this coming from? Friend? Ha, huh. I need to get by. I thought we were friends too. <laughs> I, I thought we were friends too, but 
when the man comes down on you, you come down on me. Is that it? Look, look, look. I am really sorry, Chloe. I'm just so confused right now. You just looked at my tits! You're... you're sorry? Y you just looked at my tits. You you did! You stared right at them. Oh, shit. I, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Seriously, m my uterus is on fire, dude. W what? Is that, uh, descriptive enough? I don't want to know about- En fuego utero, Skip. En fuego utero. I don't, I don't know what to say. I'm so sorry. Matthews. Huh. I'm here? I've gotten reports of an unknown vehicle in the parking lot. Oh, thank God. Oh, I'm on it. I won't tell Wells. Do what you have to do, okay? I won't tell anyone. Oh my god, I love him so much and I feel so bad. <laughs> you just looked at my tits. Uh, I'm at the junkyard, how's it going? Chills out, man, it's been like five minutes. It's been 20. Okay, okay, I'm on it. Hurry up. All right. All right, but before I do that, I'm gonna order some Chinese because this bitch hungry. <laughs> Done. I ordered some Chinese food because I'm starving and it's like almost 4 p.m. and I've been recording this video all day All right, let's keep moving. So if at any point like in the middle of the story I have to pause and go get my food. I'm so sorry. So anyway, let's keep going Let's go inside finally All right, which one is Drew's room? All right. But usually when you come through this door, doesn't it lead to the girls' dorms? Oh, I guess it's a different hallway. Okay. Anyway, let's see. Check out the map. Guess I'll never see my name on one of these. Drew, one, I ten. wouldn't have made it to senior year anyway. Oh, so only senior... Of course my dog is barking. So only seniors get rooms. <gasps> Warren is 104. And Elliot's right next to him. We gotta check them all out. Let's see. Whiteboard. Thou shall not pass. <laughs> Could Elliot be lamer if he tried? <gasps> Wait a second. This is Warren's door, and I can't go in. Thanks for the geometry help. I miss Warren. So plain. Elliot's room. He plays lacrosse, how sexy. Elliot's kind of preppy in his own way. Maybe he does belong at Blackwell. I knew Elliot did well in class, but I didn't realize he was here on a full ride. Dear Elliot, I'm happy to inform you that your academic performance and financial aid status have more than met the requirements to receive continued aid for the upcoming 2010 spring semester. The Prescott Foundation will cover all educational expenses as well as room and board. Congratulations. Whoa, that's amazing. Cla he plays clarinet? I've never been able to get Elliot to play for me. I guess he's either really good or <laughs> really bad. I always wanted to play clarinet when I was in the sixth grade because the cutest boy in my class played clarinet. Um, but then I ended up playing flute instead because I couldn't play clarinet because I suck. Elliot does work really hard. I guess I'm happy for him. I'm happy for him too. He's the perfect man. Besides Warren. The world breaks everyone. And afterward, some are strong at the broken places. Why does that make me sad?
Use. Elliot's mom seems nice. Hey, sweetheart. Just got a letter about your scholarship and I couldn't be prouder. I've been showing it to the whole family. Your grandmother just said, of course he did. He's my grandson. Also, your father called about again about July 4th. I told him it was too early to decide that you're more focused on school right now anyway. But if you want to spend time with him this summer, of course I'll support you. Don't break too many hearts over there. Yeah, that's not happening. Lucky Dana. Dana? Chicks, man. Yo, Elliot, you got English with Dana Ward, right? What's she like? I think she's hot. Say something cool about me to her, but not like I told you to do it. Thanks, bro. To Elliot from Logan. <laughs> Warren Graham is such a nerd. <laughs> You're so wrong. Worst movies ever. I'll grant you, Ed Wood made some awful movies, but so many even more awesomely terrible movies came out after Plan 9 from Outer Space. It's called the worst movie ever made. But have you seen Night of the Lepus? What a bunch of space zombies compared to giant carnivorous rabbits. <laughs> Warren, he's so weird. Huh. There's way less porn here than I would have thought. History. How to tie a tie video. Elliot Hampton, Arcadia Bay. Chloe Elizabeth Price, Arcadia Bay. Chloe Elizabeth Price, Chloe Price. The Tempest Quotes. The Tempest Tickets, Blackwell Academy. Major Lucas Hampton. Ill Illuminati Eye Meeting. <laughs> Guards of Hell Book 3. He loves Chloe so much. It's so sad. Let's see photo wow i remember this show crazy that elliot would hold on to this picture after so long journal that's not half bad when she left the room it was electric flushed wings taut with agony okay dark i see her in the brick and mortar in the fresh cut grass, eyes flashing bright like coins. The fairy man can't have her, I say, but the dark gods laugh. Eek. Who is it that Elliot's writing about? That moment when the sun is almost there, the sea so welcoming and warm, when pooled light smooths the nodding waves, when shapeless, cold infinity conforms to one stark plane. And for a moment only, all is possible. All say yes. My heart says yes. Her eyes say yes. Whoa. Elliot is way more artistic than I thought. They see her, but don't see her. How is that so? When all the world is negative and dark, and she cries out a screaming rocket, trailing fire. <laughs> Wait, are these about me? <laughs> what the fuck, Elliot? You are about to die. How childish she is. How lovely and how cruel. Her black knife spilling words and dripping ink. Ooh. He's like obsessive. He really, really likes her. Let's close this drawer though so that he doesn't know we went through it. Biography. Oh, I already looked at that. Okay. I think we're ready to go, right? Not even that we were supposed to be in here. Let's see who's next. It must be Justin's room. Uh, boy's bathroom? Whose room is this? Break a leg tonight. The Tempest. Can't wait to see this show. Oh, this must be, uh, what's his face's room that I can't think of. Uh, Brain Decay by Nathan Prescott. Nathan is such a creep. This is really gross. Orange, you glad I didn't say banana. Is this Nathan's room? Uh, great season, Mondo. Good luck at state. 109, Trevor and Justin. My board. Yep. Uh, definitely Drew's room. So we're just getting lucky that nobody's around when we're trying to sneak into his room? Is 
Is that that game? Good. <sighs> Drew's not here. Okay. <laughs> if I were Drew, where would I hide my money? Or maybe Mikey has been like sleeping here or something. Anywho. Trunk. <sighs> Is the money in there? Could be. All right. Guess I have to crack a four digit code. All right. Calendar. Hmm. I wonder exactly how important 516 is to Drew. BW Varsity Awards Dinner. I really doubt that's it. Holy shit, Drew. A college scholarship? No wonder you're so into football. Dear Andrew, it's my great pleasure to award you a full athletic scholarship to play football at Oregon State University. We know that a young man of your skills and character would make a great addition to the OSU franchise, a football dynasty that has produced NFL talent for decades. Check out I didn't computer. realize Drew was this good at sports. Dear Andrew, I congratulations. I can't wait to get out of Arcadia Bay. Congratulations! In light of your incredible achievements as a high school football player and student, I'm pleased to extend an official scholarship offer to you. A University of Oregon degree is one of the most prestigious academy institutions in the Pacific Northwest. We truly feel that you're a student athlete who has the potential to make powerful impact on both your team and the student body. As the head coach, I'm here to assist you and support you on your journey to success. The details of the scholarship. Hello, Chris. Thank you so much for your consideration in the generous scholarship offer. I regret to inform you that I've chosen to attend Oregon State in the fall. Thanks for your time, Drew. Okay, so he's going Frank to Oregon. Frank wasn't lying. Zachary Looks Riggins. like Drew sells happy pills to his fellow meatheads. Hey, bro, you need any more happy pills? I'm beat as hell. Oh, do you have any more happy pills? I'm beat as hell. You saw me take that hit for you last night, right? No one gets in my boy's grill on my watch. But hook me up, will you? Something just to take the edge off is all I need. So many folks are shit out of luck around here. Drew, what an amazing game. At least game. Drew has some prospects. Son, couldn't believe that the third quarter conversation... Conversion. You've got moves, no doubt. I spent the day at the library again. Computers aren't my thing. You know that? But I'm trying to learn. This Anthony... There's remedial skills class Mikey made me promise to take, so I'm going to do that next. See about learning how to type worth a damn. This computer's boring. Plenty of possible combinations here. Oh god. We might have failed to kill you, Durgeron, but something tells me Mikey's not through. Yet. Bad guys don't usually look so obvious, but this is still awesome. Uh, awesome. Mikey's figures. <laughs> Playing that game yesterday was actually fun. <laughs> they look so happy. All right, sticky note. A lot of numbers on here. Would Drew really use something like this for a lock combo? Dad's address. <laughs> Looks like Mikey's been staying here with Drew. I don't know. All right, let's try 12-12. Damn it. Wrong numbers. <sighs> All right, it's gonna take a bit. So weirdly, my game just crashed. Um, I don't know why, so I have to go and click on everything again and then try and figure out the password again. So that's what I'm gonna go do. <laughs> Drew's not here. Oops. Let's see. Let's try his brother's birthday. December 27th. Let's do 1227. And then we'll try 0403. Hell yeah, it was his brother's birthday. Yes. How sweet. This is kind of fun. Ah. Oh. Did little Drew beat you up, too? <sighs> Jackpot. 
I'm kind of good at this. I got the money, jeez. Okay, got the money. Time to bust out of Hey, Elamon. Chloe? What are you doing here? Looking for Drew. No reason. <laughs> no reason. Just <laughs> roam in the halls. Were you wanting to play more tabletop games? Bro, we gotta go. Yesterday wasn't enough? You wanna go another round? Doesn't matter. Mikey, get your stuff. Let's move. Drew, relax. Slow down. Is that the guy that's friends with Shit. Frank? You're making me think you're nervous about something. Who the hell is that? No one. Stay in here and don't say anything, little brother. Whatever you do, don't open the door. You know what's going on? Damon, you shouldn't have come here. School's not the place for this. Really? Where is the place to collect my fucking money? Shit. I told you, I don't have it. Sales are down, man. Nobody wants to get high right now. But look, it's spring season. We just started two a days. Those are gonna kill us. I'll be able to sell all the oxy you've got. Drew, you owe me a grand. Where is it? I said I don't have it right now. Why isn't he giving it to him when he has I it? What about your dad's job, by the way? Tough times. Oh, he's trying to save yeah. it for his family. Bet a grand would mean a lot to him, right? Where's my money, Drew? I don't know what you expect me to do. I can't just make money appear out of thin air. Ugh. I want my <laughs> fucking money! You don't have to hit me, man. I'm good. Uh. Where is it? Uh. Please! Just give me one. Uh. You're just going to lie there? I thought football players were supposed to be tough. <laughs> Sorry to have to do no. this, kid. No uh. one steals from me. Uh. No one. Fuck. Fuck. If I give Damon the money that I'm good with Frank, I'm doing this job for fucking Frank. But he obviously needs the money or he wouldn't be like taking this beating, you know? Like he needs it. I'm gonna stay. Let me go. No. Your brother said to stay inside. It'll be okay, Mikey. It'll be okay. Damn, you are one tough kid. Fuck you. Yeah? Well, what about this? Good luck running on that knee now. Bye-bye football. Well, I'm done. Get my money. Or maybe it'll be your little brother I talk to next. See you soon. If I gave him the money, he'd be able to still play football. I just ruined his fucking life. Uh, uh, Drew! It's, it's okay. I'm okay, little brother. Thank you, Chloe. Thank you. Fuck me! Uh... Here. It sounds like you could use this. You took this from my locker? Frank asked me to. I... I didn't know. I, I'm sorry, man. My dad. He... He needs this money. Way more than that asshole does. Thank... Drew! 
You need to get to the hospital. <sighs> Don't tell anyone about this, okay? Yeah. Uh, no. No way. What? Um. What are you going to do? <sighs> about Damon? I don't know. <sighs> One day at a time. I hear you. That sucks. So I'm glad I didn't give him the money. I don't know what Chloe Price would have done in that situation, but I'd like to think that she'd be a little bit nicer. This day has been so messed up. At least I can talk to Rachel now. If I can find her back here. Let's see. Steph. Um. Let's see. Chloe, it's Steph. I'm on my way to the hospital. Mikey told me what happened. Poor Drew. I'm still stunned. Thank you for what you did. Shit, I'm glad you're going. Let me know if I can help more. Thanks, I will. Weather update. Arcadia Bay Forest Watch. 50% uh, contained. That's good. Alright, let's see. I've already seen what happens when Rachel plays with fire. Rachel plus swords should be fun. Mr. Keaton. Drama teachers always seem so <laughs> dramatic. Sup, Mr. Keaton. Why, if it isn't the muse of the Blackwell Drama Department. Tell me, young lady, do you still believe true love is a lie? <laughs> I don't know. I guess the whole point of love is to leave yourself open to <laughs> whatever happens. <laughs> Indeed. That is an art many of us attempt and precious few master. Budding dramaturge, may your propitious appearance counteract the tragedy of Stephanie Gingrich's sudden recusal. An emergency, she says. Uh -huh. Word. Stephanie was our lion of the light board, but platitudinal though it may be, the show must sojourn forth. That dude is weird. Yeah, he is. Sojourn forth. Pizza. Dana. Rachel. How's your super long errand going? Uh, yo, crazy shit happened in Drew's room. Like, really bad. Oh no, are you okay? Do you need to talk about it? Yeah, later. Don't worry until the show's over. I'm backstage. Great, on my way. Did Doug dig David's garden? Or did David dig Doug's? Okay then. Hey, Dana. Did Doug dig David's <coughs> garden? Or did David dig Doug's? Did Doug dig How David's garden? Know. Or did David Did Doug dig the freak David's garden? Or did David uh, dig Doug's? let's talk to him. Swim schedule, swim poster. 
Light board. Play. Chloe Price presents Firewalk. Laser Light Spectacular. It's really dumb. <laughs> Hey Hayden. Hey Hayden. <laughs> Address we me speak as the same Ferdinand, language. Good lady. Hello, go fuck yourself. <laughs> uh, uh, all right. Um, hey, Ferdinand. Sup, Chloe. I mean, sup, fair maiden. Great uh, method acting. Really? Thanks. Okay. Boys changing tent. Thanks, but no thanks. Alright, then this must be the girls changing tent. <laughs> Go see me some Rachel boobies. Rachel? Oh. My Chinese is here. Ooh, I'm so excited to eat some Chinese! But I have to wait until I'm finished recording because I am a responsible young woman. Not really, but whatever. Alright. Okay, so she definitely put something in one of those teacups. And I'm thinking it's because she wants to, like, give it to Rachel or something. Whatever that was, it was shady as shit. I need to find whatever Victoria slipped into that drink. I just talked to Damon. He said you- he said he had to come down hard. Didn't see you. What happened? Did you find the money? Price, where's the money? This is serious. Quit fucking around. Unless you're dead, reply. Let's meet tomorrow. Have answers. God. Even though Steph's not here, her sticky still lay down the law. Hey kids, who wants to dress up like Big Bird's fugly cousin? <laughs> I wouldn't be caught dead in this. Okay, this mask is actually pretty sweet. I hope Rachel gets to wear it. Alright, costumes. I haven't seen this much spandex since... <laughs> Mom made me go to that Zumba class with her. Adding putting on makeup to the long list of reasons I wouldn't be caught dead on stage. Okay, purse. Adding Oops. putting on makeup to the long list of reasons I wouldn't be... Let's see. Pills. Muscle relaxers? Oh god, I didn't get a chance to look at everything. Hurry now before your tea gets... <sighs> what are you doing here? This area is for cast and crew only. Or are you only here to try and sabotage the play like you sabotaged my homework? <sighs> god, you're pathetic. Here for Rachel, here for me. I'm here to support Rachel. How nice. I want to make sure she's relaxed before the show. <sighs> Whatever. Oh, Rachel Amber, it was customary among the thespians of ancient Greece for the understudy to offer hot tea to the lead actress on opening night, as a way of showing appreciation for her tutelage. It is in that spirit that I offer you this beverage. 
May it help to reveal the essence of your talents for all to see. Wow. That, um... Thanks. Tell Rachel to distract Victoria. Tell Rachel. Wait up, Rachel. Bitch, dosed your teeth. Excuse me? How dare you? Victoria, could this possibly be true? Uh, of course not. A dropout Chloe is clearly directing her misplaced anger at me. I'm sorry your life is a mess, but it's not my fault, okay? Hmm. Chloe, Victoria is my friend. She would never do anything to sabotage me. Then she should drink the tea. Then she should prove it. Drink the tea. What? I wouldn't dare insult Victoria's integrity like that. Then again, if that's what it'll take to convince you that Victoria is a good and caring person, fine. Come on, Vic. Put dropout Chloe in her place once and for all. Oh, happy? So happy. Ugh, whatever. If you're done accusing me of things, I'll just be on my way. <sighs> Bitches. <laughs> wow. Saved my ass again. Price. All in a day's work. And this has been a particularly batshit crazy day. Sweet party. We're ruined. The show is ruined. That was quick. Did you see the pot leaf on the... And the lights? My dear young artists, a misfortune most unkind has befallen us. Juliet is waylaid. What does that, that mean? That infernal inferno is the culprit, closing down the roads and robbing us of our aerial. Would oh. that she could but manifest on her master's whim as a true spirit. Alas, devoid of an understudy, the situation is a dire one indeed. I'm afraid we may have to cancel. Truly, we are a cursed lot. Even my prodigious imagination cannot conceive of a worse turn of fate. Okay, relax, dude. <gasps> Touche. What? Oh, <laughs> Mr. Keaton. No. Chloe could step in for Juliet. No fucking chance. At least until the road's clear. The romantic. She's the right fit for Juliet's costume. She is indeed. Tell me, my dear, have you ever acted before? Hell no. She's being modest. We play improv games all the time. And she's fantastic at it. My dear. What if I told you that the entire fate of the production rests upon your slender shoulders? <laughs> I'd say you're super fucked. Chloe, please, for me. <sighs> oh my god. I can't believe Rachel's talked me into this. <laughs> oh my god. I love it so much. I feel like this is gonna be some people's Halloween costumes or people are gonna go to Comic-Con like dress like this. <sighs> I seriously have to memorize all of this? Thanks, Rachel. Okay. Is this like an actual test right now though? Prospera. Enter Ariel. All hail, great mistress, I come. Oh god, this is horrible. This is horrible. Chloe, the show is starting. We got great seats, where are you? Oh, you'll see. 
Oh god, this is ridiculous. I hope I didn't actually have to remember those lines. I hope that we just improv the whole situation. This is gonna be bad. Uh, let's see. Let's, let's do this. Oh boy. By accident most strange, bountiful fortune hath mine enemies brought to the shore. Here, cease more questions. Thou art inclined to sleep. Tis a good dullness, and give it way. I know thou canst not choose. Come away, servant. Come. Ah, shit. I'm on. <gasps> oh, uh, I it. am ready now. Get up there. This is Approach, ridiculous. My Ariel. Come. Damn it. No problem. I've got this. I just walk to Rachel and <laughs> say my line. I wish I could throw that at Rachel for getting me into this. Oh god. I'm just walking around just looking I at things. I want to play her part. I'm definitely supposed to do something with this. Okay. All hail, great mistress. I, uh, I come to answer thy best pleasure. Most fearless, generous spirit, hast thou performed to point the tempest that I bade thee? Yeah, the pointiest tempest ever. I wrought a storm. I boarded the king's ship. I boarded the king's ship. In every cabin, I flamed amazement. The fire and cracks of sulfurous roaring, the most mighty Neptune seemed to besiege and make his bold waves uh, tremble. My brave spirit, who was so firm, so constant, that this coil would not infect his reason. Uh, not a soul. The king's son, uh, Ferdinand, was the first man that leaped from his ship and cried. This is so cringy. Cried, <clears throat> hell is empty and all the devils are here. Yes! Really? But are they, Ariel, safe? All right, I guess this is when I'm supposed to walk somewhere. Shit, I didn't read that far. Hold on. That's that. Maybe there's another X to her? No? To the crate? Sit? How now, capricious friend? Thou art not done. <sighs> If thou art tired, thou must needs repose. Yeah, I'm tired. Tired of this play bullshit. I need a breather. Okay, I guess this wasn't the spot. The audience is freaking out! Rock? Backdrop? Rock? Nope. Backdrop? Where the fuck am I supposed to go? Oh! Not a hair perished, and uh, as thou baddest me, I have dispersed them about the aisle. In troops! Bravo! Ariel, thy charge exactly is performed, but there's more work. Is there more toil? Let me remember thee what thou hast promised. How now? What is't thou canst demand? My liberty. Indeed. Thy liberty? I'm just cringing. Nay, this most of all I will not grant. Th that's not her line, is it? What's going on? But thou assured my freedom, didn't thou? I never said how dearly I hold thee, 
My habit's been to keep my soul well draped. Most loyal spirit, companion, and friend, is acting in my service not replete with excitement, amusement, and delight? Of course, mistress. Most truly, it is so. Mr. Keat, they're way Shh. off script. It's magical. Then why, I pray you, wish you to be free? <laughs> Excitement's a mere counterfeit of bliss. These storms and these adventures, <laughs> I prefer to know thou still cared for my plainest self. I have thee in my grasp. I will not bend. I will not see thee flying forth alone. The envy would be more than I could bear. So come with me. Is that not in thy power? Spirit, take my hands. Most faithful friend, for but a little longer I beseech. Continue in thy service to my schemes. And when they are complete, I swear to thee, we shall fly beyond this isle. The corners of the world are mere prologue. I'll seek to make thy happiness so great that e'en the name of liberty is forgot. What sayest thou to my most hopeful wish? I do. Say yes! <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am most pleased. Your duty, done for now. So go forth hence with haste. I've work to do. You crushed it. So good. You're a born thespian, my dear. I'll be chasing you down next year. And the ending, absolutely transformative. I am humbled. Thanks. What the hell just happened? The strangeness of your was that story real? Put heaviness in me. That was Shake interesting. It off. Come on. We'll visit Caliban, my slave. Tis a villain, sir. I do not love. To look. He does make our fire, fetch in our wood. What ho! Slave! Caliban! Come forth, come I say! On! Uh, mm. as wicked do as e'er my mother brushed. Thou poisonous slave, got by the devil himself. Filth as thou art, I have lodged thee in mine own cell, till thou didst seek to violate the honor of my child. Shit. He's crying. Fetch us in fuel, and be quick. So, slave, hence. Fuck you. Where should this music be? In the air or the earth? Oh, thank God. This play is super intense. What is it? A spirit? It carries a brave form, but it is a spirit. No, wench. It eats and sleeps and hath such senses as we have. <laughs> I will resist such entertainment. Put thy sword up, traitor. Do you love me? Oh heaven, oh earth, bear witness to this sound. I beyond all limit of what else in the world do love, prize, honor you. His tears run down his beard like winter's drops from eaves of reeds. Go release them, Ariel. My charms I'll break. Their senses I'll restore. And they shall be themselves. Now my charms are She has all no but at all. And what strength I have's mine own. 
pray, release me from my bands with the help of your good hands. So weird. Like, I have no words right now. So dead. Yeah? How dead? Hella dead. So weird. Oh, that girl's there. Why? Why would she be there? My dear, what if I told you that the entire fate of our production rests upon your slender shoulders? <laughs> I've never had an experience like that on stage. Yeah, right? You know, you. Like, seriously, I love nights after a show. <laughs> Is it always like this? Oh, totally. It's such a high. No more nerves, just the adrenaline. So, first timer, are you proud of yourself? You were literally perfect tonight. I was blown away. <laughs> I think I'm just happy it's over. The last 12 hours have been freaking intense. You've gone through so much shit today. Right now's pretty good. Okay, the whole show was good. I admit it. Yeah. <laughs> it was magical. you wanted to skip town and never look back. Like I said last night, let's do it. <laughs> I know. I've been thinking about that all day. But that was... <laughs> Don't say it was just a crazy thought. You mean it. I can tell. You want this. Yeah, but like, eventually. Let's go now. Didn't we already agree on stage? <laughs> we can't just... <laughs> Why not? Parents, money. I know our parents have been shitty, but we can't just leave them. That doesn't sound like Chloe Price. But I'm the only one my mom has left. 
You're right. What am I saying? She's got David now. What about... It keeps getting cut I off. I thought you were a high-rolling criminal now. I collected the money Frank wanted, but then I gave it back to Drew instead. It sounded like he needs it more. No shit. But man, I'm not looking forward to what Frank has to say when he finds out. We'll figure it out, Chloe. Anyway, I've got more than enough to start us out. I always get birthday money from my dad. Or should I say, hush money. Any more questions? How far could we possibly get without a car? I thought you were fixing that truck in the junkyard. I was just seeing if I could. Well, can you or can't you? <laughs> Maybe. It's not like I do this all the time. You'll figure it out. But you don't even know what shape it's in. I don't need to. Because I know you, and I know what you're capable of. In other words, we've got transportation covered. <sighs> Fine then, drama queen. Where are we going? <laughs> you tell me. What uniquely twisted location does Chloe Price plus Rachel Amber equal? Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I'm feeling like an indefinitely long road trip. That sounds like the greatest idea anyone's ever thought of. You and me, driving down the coast, filling up our truck with hilarious souvenirs, and every night we'll find a different beach to walk along and watch the sun go down. And one day, you'll be at a gas station fixing the brakes, and some guy with no shirt on will come up. Yeah, okay. He'll be like, that's so hot that you know about cars. And I'll say, back off. She's with me. You're full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I love this time of night. <laughs> Don't you just feel like everything's possible? <laughs> She's kind of crazy. <laughs> Rachel... Stop. If you don't mean this, it's it's just making me feel like shit that this life you're describing isn't going to happen. For fuck's sake! I've never been more serious in my life. <laughs> <sighs> Chloe, what would it take to convince you? A tattoo? Your bracelet? Okay, I don't know. I'm going in for a kiss. Cause you know I want to. What bracelet does she wear? I don't know. A kiss. How about... Um... Oh. Oh, I thought she was going to reject me for a second. Ooh! I wasn't expecting that. I actually thought she was going to reject her. Is that convincing enough? Yeah. Oh, the feels right now. I was not expecting this. Holy shit. Right? <laughs> what is this stuff? Ash. I think... It's a sign. I think we should leave tonight. Really? 
If you want to, I'm ready. Let's go sneak some clothes and stuff from my house. And then, we'll get the hell out of Arcadia Bay. That sounds perfect. Expecting that. You're home. Rose, Rachel's home. And she um, brought her new friend. Our star returns. You're just in time. Dinner's almost ready. Chloe, was it? It is. Nailed it. I must have been pretty memorable. You were. I get the sense that you're used to making an impression. Rachel, honey, you were resplendent tonight. Thanks. Chloe, you must join us for dinner tonight. Uh, she must? I must? Of course. I made chicken a la king. I'm sure you both acted up quite the appetite. Thanks. But I was just going to stop in for a sec and then bounce. Oh, did you have other dinner plans? Dinner plans? <laughs> I always thought dinner was something that just sort of happens. Chloe, I know we didn't exactly meet each other at our best this morning, but with you and Rachel becoming such fast friends, I insist you join us for dinner. Don't you agree, Rachel? Yes, of course, Chloe. Would you join us for dinner, please? Uh, of course. Great. I just need to wash off. Then I'll be right down. Don't be long. In meantime, perhaps you can help me with the table, Chloe? Sure thing, Mrs. Amber. Okay, I'm gonna go pack. After dinner, we can make our break. You cool down here? Okay. Totally. Your parents love me. They're good at coming off that way, but don't let your guard down. And, Chloe, we just need to make it through dinner. Try not to say anything that, you know... That I would normally say. Exactly. Just some quality time with the Ambers. What could possibly go wrong? I don't know. All right. This house is amazing. And I also always wanted to lamp like this in my house. Hiya, Mr. Amber. Chloe, what can I do for you? So, you're a district attorney, huh? I'm your district attorney. So I can call you if I'm ever district arrested? <laughs> What would you be arrested for? It was a joke. Not a good one, clearly. Your daughter's pretty great. Thank you. We're fond of her as well. You ever feel like she's so awesome at everything that you just want to shake her? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, me neither. What do you think? I thought Rachel was perfectly cast. She certainly was. 
We're very proud of her. I had no idea they were going to do that. Do what? I don't know the name for it. Uh, reverse casting? Casting a, a woman as a man? Oh, I just meant the wizard part. Uh, I suppose that's also true. Okay. Duty like calls. <laughs> Good chat, Mr. Amber. Mm-hmm. Hate him. Doing the play was bad enough without having to read about it afterwards. Hope Drew's okay, though. So sorry I missed out, guys. Emergency came up. Love you guys. I am so sorry. Why sorry? You don't control the fire, or do you? Chloe held it down like a champ. Any update on how Drew's doing? Sorry if you can hear my dog. He's underneath me. Recovering. We're going to see him first thing tomorrow. Hmm. How to clear browser history. Followed by a gap for all of yesterday. That's like cheating asshat 101. Yeah. Poor Rachel. Incognito tab, how to incognito tab. That's horrible. Guess some families actually go to Paris instead of just talk about it their whole lives. Easy to see who wears the literary pants around here. All right. Oh, I think that's an original who gives a shit. <laughs> I love her so much. Everything about this house is nicer, cleaner, better, and more expensive than mine. Damn. Wonder if this is a family heirloom. What the Amber family considers entertainment looks a lot like what I consider homework. Salvat it. That's horrible. Rachel and I both had great childhoods. Mine just ended a little before hers, I guess. Sink? So clean. I bet Rose would kill it with my mom at the diner. No skeletons. Lots of shiny dishes, though. Mikey. Uh, hey Chloe. Drew's out of surgery, in pain, but okay. Holy shit, Mikey, I'm so sorry. It's okay. You stuck with me. Plus, you saved our money. We owe you. Wish I could've helped more. Hey, Steph says you were in the play. What? I've had a busy day. Most heroes do. Oh, Mikey. I wonder if this will be the most expensive thing I've ever eaten off of. <laughs> Besides my computer, of course. Hey there, Mrs. Amber. Chloe, I'm so glad you're joining us tonight. Integrity, honesty, loyalty. What? It's on your lawn. Oh, right. Sorry. I guess I'm still getting used to being an elected official's wife. Those are some strong words. You think he lives up to them? He's fantastic at what he does. Of course, he's only human. Or subhuman. What? What? I, I thought you said something. Uh, nope. So, uh, Rachel was pretty awesome tonight. Yes, she was. Though, to be fair, she's pretty awesome every night. I wish I were half as driven when I was her age. Me too. <laughs> I get the sense that you're a force of nature yourself. I can see why the two of you get along so well. You can? Because it still seems crazy to me. 
uh, what did you think of the play? Rachel was typically amazing, but I never liked The Tempest. What did you think of it? To be honest, I only really read a couple pages. Theater's not really my thing. I guess I'm not so into saying words someone else came up with. Fair point. Then again, I'm not sure you can judge the entire art form based on the dead white men your curriculum focuses on. Damn. Shots fired, Shakespeare. So, you putting me to work, or what? Yes. If you could please take four plates from the cupboard and set them on the table. Uh, what if I can't? Excuse me? You said if I could... Never mind. You're a riot, Chloe. These people have, like, right, Chloe, no sense of humor. You've set the table without ruining someone's marriage before. Something about this photo doesn't seem right. I should fix it. Can't tag this whole Rachel's mom is right there. She totally bust me. What can I do? What can I do? Yes, Chloe? These the plates? Yes, place them on the table, please. It's that table-shaped object over there. Mrs. Amber, dropping bombs. I just want her to move. Glasses. Damn, the Ambers are fancy as shit. Never realized that getting drunk could be so complicated. The reason I open this, I mean, shouldn't that be a reason for opening them? I guess not. Table set. Chloe, Justin Williams' mom called me. Were you in a play tonight? I would have liked to see that. What kind of just happened? I know it was last minute. I'm glad you're doing well. It would be nice to see you tonight. Are you coming home? Please, Chloe, I miss you. Ugh. What can I do? What can I do? Awards? Huh. Rachel really was an overachiever before she met me. Glad I nipped that in the bud. Let's see what Rose has next for me. Oh. We're not done. Hi, Rose. Your husband's cheating on you. Pass the ketchup. Yes, Chloe? Plates? Check. Anything else? Actually, could you be a dear and ask Mr. Amber what he'd like to drink with dinner? Can't you just fucking yell it over to him? I will be a dear. Hi. Talking to James. James, what as do you want? As long as I can avoid using the words cheating and scumbag, I should be fine. Something else? What's your vice, Mr. Am- I'm sorry? Your wife wants to know what kind of drink you're having. Ah. Let's say sharing. Okay. One, two, three, sherry. Comical. She's not funny. Keep up. Lay Chloe, down. Maybe you can help me understand something. I'll give it a shot. Rose and I, we're worried about Rachel. Yesterday was so unlike her. What do you suppose is going on? Hard to say. Maybe she's rebelling against something. Or someone. What would Rachel have to rebel against? We've given her everything she could ask for. Yet, I'm not sure I buy the narrative you laid out this morning in the principal's office. Rachel is not known for following along with anything she doesn't want to. I'd be lying if I said I didn't have concerns about your friendship. But, perhaps you're exactly who Rachel needs right now as she navigates the choppy waters of adolescence. Rude. 
Uh, thanks. Rude ass bitch. Yes, Chloe? The boss man would like a sherry. Thank you. The glasses are in the china cabinet. You can place one at his setting. How am I supposed to get to China? Kidding. <laughs> it's the fancy looking cabinet, right? You got it. It's the most cringy, horrible family I've ever met. Uh. It's the triangle shaped one. Basic shapes. <laughs> Now you're speaking my language. Oh, I guess he sits at the head of the table. This is such a long sequence of annoying things. Yes, yes, Chloe. Chloe? What else? <laughs> Feel like I'm getting good at this. Only one last step. As our guest, you may do the honor of lighting the candles. The lighter is in the- It's cool. I've got my own. Oh. You never know when you'll need to light a candle. <laughs> right? You are a paragon of preparedness. Thanks. I think. Time to light some candles, and finally, Mrs. Amber has her back turned. <sighs> Time to fix this photo. Got it. <laughs> Let's light these candles. Finally eat some damn food. The Amber family and fire. What could possibly go wrong? So, Chloe, are you and Rachel in any of the same classes? I wish. Rachel's all honors. I'm still trying to get into remedial... What's it called? Vocabulary. What about that fire? <laughs> <clears throat> Dinner's really good, Mom. Thank you, Rachel. The way the fire spreads so fast, I've never heard of anything like it. Yeah, it's scary. After those floods upstate, I was overjoyed we had less rain this year. Who knew a spring drought could be even more dangerous? You never know where a deadly spark will come from. Who knows? It's certainly troubling. The latest report from the commissioner's office suggests arson. Arson? Why would anyone do that? Any number of reasons. With everything going on in the world today, even a town like Arcadia Bay isn't immune to the ills of society. I cannot imagine how difficult these last few years have been for you, Chloe. Now that you and Rachel have become friends, I want you to know that our home is always open to you. Cool. Thanks. Well said, dear. It's imperative in such troubled times as these that we remember what is most important to us. Family. Family's not merely a gift. It is a responsibility. As such, those we love must be cared for and never, ever taken for granted. Attack, James. Enough of this asshole. Rachel may have to take it, but I don't. 
I'm going to turn his daughter and wife against him at his own dinner table. Oh god, I am? <clears throat> I'm not sure I agree, James. Oh god. Oh? I thought you of all people would be grateful for family, at least. Grateful dead end. Gratitude, how privileged. Gratitude seems like such a nice luxury. I can't say I've had the privilege to afford it. That is an excellent point, Chloe. We must always be sensitive to the way our privileges shape our perspectives. Well said, Mom. Still, there must be some room for personal responsibility. I'm sure you agree, Chloe. Military responsibility? Good question. Not responsible like my dad. My dad was super responsible. He always drove under the speed limit. Then one day, a truck came along and turned him into a super responsible pancake. See? This is why it's so important to invite diverse voices to converse with one another. Oh god. It's absolutely stimulating. She's so weird. <laughs> hmm. Highly stimulating. Since you have answers for everything, Chloe, perhaps you'd like to enlighten us with some of your hard-earned wisdom about the world. There's always darkness. Shed some light. Wake up. Sure. I believe that we should look closely at everyone, especially the people in power, to see what secrets they're hiding. Very well articulated, Chloe. I am consistently impressed with how politically aware your generation is. She's so sweet. <laughs> Chloe is an excellent articulator. Excuse me, dear? But if this is what passes for politically aware these days, we're in serious trouble. James, that's unfair and also rude to Chloe. No, I don't believe it is. It seems clear that these points Chloe is making are merely veiled attacks on me. Are you suggesting that I'm using some sort of incognito mode where I can keep my activities hidden? Oh god. That's crazy. Don't worry, Mr. Amber. I can tell that my progressive attitude is not welcome in this house. I'll see myself out. James, Chloe is right. You owe her an apology. I owe her no such thing. I believe she is willfully acting belligerently just as she did this morning. It is how people like her respond to adversity. People like her? So we're profiling now? This is what eight months in the DA's office has taught you. I resent that. My office is committed to fair and equitable treatment. Yes, I've read the press releases. Excuse me? Are you calling me a hypocrite? Ha! <coughs> huh. Rachel! I can't sit here and listen to this bullshit anymore. Rachel! Stop it, Dad. You're a hypocrite. Okay? I know. You lying, cheating piece of shit, motherfucker! <gasps> Excuse me? We saw you yesterday at the Overlook. James? Kissing that woman. James. Rachel? Honey, whatever you saw or think you saw, I know it's hard, but I need you to trust me. No offense, Mr. Amber. But I think we trust our eyes more than you. That's enough! You are not welcome here or around my daughter any longer. I know exactly what kind of person you are from the moment I saw you. And I let my wife's compassion get the better of you. Oh? What kind of person is a that? A delinquent. A broken girl from a broken home. That's enough, James. I will not have you continue to speak to her like this. Shit! Why can't you just tell me the fucking truth? Stop lying! Stop being a politician for one fucking minute! Can't you just be my dad? Rachel, that woman you saw, that wasn't my mistress. That was your mother. Huh?
What? I'm so confused. Wait a second! Oh my god! What if her mother is not... What's her name? Rose? Her mother is some... Her mother is Sarah! Oh, damn. And if you're still breathing, you're the lucky ones Cause most of us are heaving through corrupted lungs Setting fire to our insides for fun Collecting names of the lovers that went wrong The lovers that went wrong Most of us are bitter over someone Setting fire to our insides for fun To distract our hearts from ever missing love But I'm forever missing So Sarah is Rachel's mom. Jeez. All right, let's see my choices. Okay. You took the blame for Rachel, 82%. All right, you emptied your pockets at David's request. Some people actually didn't do that. Uh, you gave Damon the money. You stayed with Mikey. So I'm making all the good decisions this time. How weird. You asked Rachel for a kiss. All right. Uh, next. You didn't talk to Elliot about the play. You didn't. You decided not to go to the play. You intended to go to the play. You... The heck is that? My neighbor would be doing work next door right now. Good thing the video just ended. You refused to start over. You agreed to start over with David. Great. You didn't push... You didn't put the singing man on the dashboard. Okay, I did. You didn't pay off your debt. Wow. Only 2% of people actually paid off the debt. That's crazy. You didn't tell Steph that Rachel was single. Uh, you didn't return Drew's money to him. You returned Drew's money to him. Oh, 69% didn't return the money, but I actually did. That's different. Uh, you didn't give Samantha advice. I didn't know she was there, so oops. You told Samantha to avoid Nathan. You told Samantha to give Nathan space. Wow. Nope. I didn't even see her. You discouraged Victoria from acting in the play. You encouraged Victoria before the play. You confronted Victoria. You tricked Victoria. You told Rachel you'd like to go on a road trip. 43% chose Los Angeles. Uh, you attack James at dinner. 75% of people, Rachel, attack James. But I did it. Oh, damn. Shit. Oh. Shit. She got the truck working. What? Chloe's story continues in the next episode, but... What was that? Did I miss it somehow? Whatever. Whatever. Alright guys, another episode down. 
And my dog is definitely ready for me to get out of this chair because he keeps coming in here and barking at me and I'm probably sure I had to mute so many parts of my, my audio because of that. Keeps! Ah, anyway, such another crazy episode. I'm really excited to see what Sarah is like. And now that, uh, <laughs> now that Rachel knows that Sarah is her mother. Honey, stop it. I'm really excited for the next episode. I'm just gonna stop. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.